So the purpose of this video today is actually going to be all about the mother sauces. I went to culinary school not with the idea of trying to learn how to cook. I wanted to get that from practical experience, actually working with people that are way better and smarter than me, showing me things and helping me grow and learn. Okay, as a chef, as a cook. So there's tests that you have to do depending on the job that you go. Some of them are practical tests. Some of them are like a staging where you have to make something because the chef wants to know, like, do you have decent chopping skills? Can you make a basic sauce? Can you do this? Can you do that? Like, can you do things to the point where, yes, we're going to have to train you, but do you have a general understanding that you're not completely brain dead? Can you follow instructions? Do you keep your area clean? How do you communicate? How many times do you need to be told things? Lots of valuable information can come from a staging, but there's also a written exam. Um, how would you do the cost for a recipe might be an example. One of the questions of the test is what are the mother sauces? This video is designed for people that when I say mother sauce, their head goes like this, okay? Their head turns sideways. They don't know what I'm talking about. What the hell is a mother sauce? I know what a sauce is, but I don't really have a lot of experience with sauces or something like that. So, you know, like that kind of, that is the, the target of this video. So if you were experienced and you know what they are, this isn't the video for you, all right? Secondly, learning how to make them is different than learning what they are in the first place, okay? So if you want to learn how to make them, I have a very good channel that I recommend for you. It's the French Cooking Academy. The reason why I'm not covering those things is because this stuff has already been shown to death on YouTube. It's usually some dude in a white chef coat and a coffee filter hat, and he's at a whiteboard and he writes them down. This is this sauce, this is that sauce, this is that sauce, this is that sauce. Now you know the mother sauces, have a nice day. You know, so what I wanna do is I want to provide a memory tool for you to remember the five mother sauces. Then you can take it a step further once you know what those are and you can apply that information. You can go look them up individually to learn how to make them. One of the reasons why I used this in particular is because there is a lot more sauces than the five mother sauces. And as you advance through the stages and you start learning derivatives, um, you do what I call making advanced mistakes. So. I know espinol, for example, is a brown sauce, but demi-glace is a derivative of a brown sauce. So when I was newer to this, I would learn the mother sauces, I would learn the derivatives, but then I'd mix them up. What are the five mother sauces? And I might accidentally say demi-glace. That's an example. Or um, instead of saying bachamel as the cream mother sauce, I would say soubi, um, which isn't a mother sauce, or a, um, a, a mornay something like that, or a Supreme. So, I mean, I could do that all day. I mean, there's so many derivatives, but that's not the point. So, the point is, is that I want you to learn what the basics are. Then from the basics, those are your foundational sauces, and then you use those sauces, you use other ingredients and supporting flavors to build the foundation up into a house, and that house is your sauce, is, is your real sauce, okay? Now, can you do just like a bachamel? Yeah, but why not? If you, if you can improve on them, then why not try to improve on them? So this first video is gonna be a memory tool to help you learn the five mother sauces. A bachamel, I think of a bitchy camel, you know, because if you look at the word and you kind of say it, bachamel, ba, ba, bitch, bitch camel, bitchy, it's, it's the bitch camel sauce, okay? So that doesn't sound, uh, like anything, right? But, I mean, if you're a bitch, then people don't really want to be around you. And so what if they say that you need to leave and you need to go away? So the bitchy camel actually ends up in Siberia. <laughs> bitchy camel in Siberia. Bachamel is a white sauce. The bitchy camel white sauce. So the bitchy camel in Antarctica, that's a bachamel, that's a white sauce, that's a cream sauce. The color white, bachamel, bitchy camel. Okay, so the next one is velouté. Well, what is a velouté sauce? Velouté has a chicken base, okay? So think of a valet that's a chicken. So you drive up, you're driving up to the restaurant, and there's a chicken valet that's trying to take your keys and drive you somewhere, right? Chicken valet, valet, velouté, valet, velouté. 
Next up is Espanol. Well, Espanol is Spanish and French. If you were gonna say Spanish in French, it's Espanol. So what I think of is a Spanish speaking bowl, right? Because Espanol is a brown sauce and it's, it's a beef base. You use beef stock, it's a brown sauce. So I think of a brown bull that can speak Spanish. So then the brown bull speaks Espanol. Brown bull Espanol. So now you know that one. The next one is Hollandaise. So how do I remember Hollandaise? Well, I imagine a bunch of chickens in Holland laying eggs, okay? And the reason why is because obviously Holland, Hollandaise, chickens laying eggs, Hollandaise is an egg-based, okay? Hollandaise is an egg-based sauce, so Hollandaise egg. Chickens in Holland laying eggs. The last one is tomato. Now, tomato is really easy on its own. If you can just remember a tomato, that's fine. But, but I like to be extravagant and, and weird, really weird with, with the memory associations because the weirder the associations, the more likely you are to remember it. It's something that really sticks out. So I think of a swimming pool full of tomatoes and pigs wallowing, like a low, swallow, a low swimming pool, and pigs wallowing in the tomatoes. And the reason why is because tomato is a pork-based sauce. It uses a pork base. It uses pork stock. I, I say, I'm saying base, but stock is a chicken stock for velouté example. Okay, so one more time running through them. We have a bitchy camel in the snow for bachamel. We have a valet chicken for velouté. Uh, valet, gonna drive your car. We have a Spanish-speaking bull for espinol. And we have chickens laying eggs in Holland for Hollandaise. And then we have pigs wallowing in a swimming pool of tomatoes for the tomato sauce. So this, this memory tool, this is designed not just for you to memorize the five mother sauces, it's also designed for you to remember this one is this base, this one is that base, this one is based off this, okay? So now, all you need to do is learn the ruse, and I can cover ruse in another video. Again, French Cooking Academy has this covered already. They already talk about the difference between a white blonde and brown roux and how to make a proper stock and things like that. But now that you have the basis, you can say that you can, if you're making a white sauce, you'll remember forever about the bitchy camel in the snow and be thinking of bachamel, and then when you add things to it, you'll, you'll learn the derivatives, okay? But... That is the, learning the foundations is the most important thing. And now that you know that, you are good to continue on your journey and to develop your knowledge from there. All right, so that's it. Just a short video on the memory tool that I used in school and a, a while ago to develop an understanding of what the five mother sauces were. If you have something that's more personal to you that you wanna use, use that instead. I'm not saying use my memory tools. I'm giving you these as a way to memorize them, okay? But you don't have to use them. You can make up your own, all right? If there is something uh, that sticks out in your head for a cream sauce, maybe it has to do more with like a cow, for example, then use that or think of ice cream or something like that. Maybe you can use something like that to remember bachamel better. So hopefully this helped you. And hopefully you learned something. If you uh, want to learn more about this kind of stuff or see more educational videos, let me know. So with all that out of the way, I'm Chef Jay with Roasted. And until next time, I am out.